Amen. I know, I believe, and I trust the Lord that no one tonight shall go empty-handed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And then I have a message tonight titled New Year, New Responsibility. Amen. New Year, New Responsibility. And then 2015 is going away. I believe you'll be counting your blessing. You'll be counting where you flop. You'll be counting where you missed it. You'll be counting everything that you've done. If you have not started counting, you better start counting now so that in 2016, you will know how to coordinate yourself. For 2015, is going to be... <laughs> A year that is going to be survivor of the fittest. It will be a year that everyone should sit tight. It will be a year that if you don't know God before, you better know Him now. If you are not, if you are be walking from in distance from the Lord, you better get closer now, because it's going to be tough for those who don't know God, for those who are not walking with God. In sincerity, he said to me, it's going to be a year of responsibility. New year, new responsibility. It's going to be a year that we all must walk with the Lord with all our heart. Even the tag of the year gave to me, the, the prophetic focus of the year, that a year of joyful work with the Lord. It's going to be a year of joyful work with the Lord. You must be ready to be happy working with Him no matter what. You must be ready to, to be joyful. He said, if you don't want to work, He will work you out. If you are not ready to work with Him, He will work you out. He will work you away. His purpose will take over. So, He said that, that word in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 to 48. He's going to use it next year. If you are not ready to work with him with joy, with gladness, so you, will, you will work with the enemy. And I say, Father, let that, be. that one will not be a, the portion of any soul on this mountain. We all are ready to joyfully work with you. Say, my, my son, I bear with my children. I bear with my children. This year, I'm going to, <laughs> hey, and I pray, and I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Your spare parts will not come out. You will not be dumped. You will not be chased away. It will not walk you away. It is my prayer. It has been my prayer for some days now. That God, please, you will not walk away anyone on this mountain. We need your grace. We need your strength. So every one of us must face it's our whole responsibility in working with the Lord. You know what? No time again. No time again. I can't say so, so, so time, but no time again. The other man wants to rule by all means. It's even said it, it's time to rule have come. So the Lord Jesus Christ, he can come now. Even as we are talking now, it can come now. So I want us to, to, to do everything to make our way right with him. And if you not be working with him joyfully, please, because of anything, start working with him now joyfully, because you're going to help. The Lord is looking for people who will work with him with joy. Because he said, I work with my father joyfully. Even when everything was rough, when they were chasing me up and down, I was still joyful. So I want my children to walk with me joyfully. Praise Master Jesus. So the first of all says, New Year, New Responsibility. The Bible told us in Philippians 3, verse 10 to 16. Philippians 3, 10 to 16. Say that I may know him. This is what we all should be looking for. Do everything possible everything necessary to know Jesus Christ. You must not be a pushover in 2016. They must not beg you before you know what to do. You'll be pushed away. 
the apostle, the teacher, the preacher must not beg you to do what you know you should do. James 4, 70 says, He that knoweth what to do and doeth it not, he says, say not to him. And the Lord is not ready to push people in 2016. Mm. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. Everything we take, everything we take place in 2016. If you have somebody saying, eh, eh, Father, bless me, bless me, bless me, 2016 might not be might not be for you. He will bless you according to your work. The Lord is, is gonna be a tight, it's gonna be a tight schedule. He's gonna bless you according to your work. The Lord needs people who work with him, people who want to know him. No people who they are carrying like babies. Hey, I will not connect because of this. Hey, in 2016, the Lord is the governor himself. The Lord is the president himself. The Lord is everything for it's everything by everything. It's not it's he's gonna walk with Cain in his hand. If you are not ready to walk, he will flog you and flog you. And if you are not ready to prepare the flock, he will say, Okay. No problem. There's somebody there who don't, I don't even need to flog him or her before he can walk. So, if your New Year resolution is saying, I will buy foam, I will buy bread, I will buy chichi, I will buy trigum, I will buy meat, you better start sticking now. I will work for the Lord. It's my year of responsibility. It's my year to walk with God with all my heart. Let me read that place for you again. In Deuteronomy 20. 28 verse 47 to 48. Because thou servest not the Lord with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things, abundance of all things, good or bad. Because the Lord is filtering the world. We are in the filtration period. Filtration period is filtering his children. You must try hard to enter, and the old, the grace, the power to enter this in 2016 is joy. Serve God with joy, praise Him with joy, evangelize with joy. Whatever you are doing, do it with joy with Him. No matter what you do in 2016, His joy is not attached to it. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. Especially people who are saying, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. 2016 might not be for you. The Lord is looking for people who will work. You know why? You know why? Because the invaders are coming. The invaders are coming. It's the year of prayer. It's the year of evangelism. We have not seen anything. We would have not seen anything. The invaders are on their way. So powerful. So it's going to be a year of the survival of the Europe, you pray, I mean, I feel UK, they should pray very well. UK, you pray very well. And every other Europe. This evening, he said to me, say, my son, Remember, I said to Europe, gather my children for me, Europe. Gather them for me, Europe. The, the other man wants to take Europe by force. Because Europe is the seat of the Antichrist. So, let us be ready. It's going to be a year of war. A tempestuous year. And yet, if you are not ready, what you will see will chase you away from Christianity. Because it's going to happen. It's going to be terrible. So make up your mind now. Bread, biscuit, butter, take them from your mind now. If the Lord bring it, okay, we thank God. But if you don't bring it, ah, Father, heaven is my goal. Because the other man wants to come and rule by force. That I miss. And the Lord is not ready to tarry long again. He's tired of begging. 
is tired of begging for me and for you. The Lord is tired of begging. No more time again. The other side, they, they, are, they are eager to take over, to rule for a few years and die. So therefore, let us be ready. Be strong. Let us do everything to make sure we know him and know him very well. Flesh must die in 2016. 2016 is not going to be a year of beauty contest. Let my face be shiny. Let my uh, let let the people see me that I am, I am in Europe. I'm eating well. <laughs> it's not going to be so. Few shall be left over. Few shall be left. Because it's going to be terrible. Christians, be ready to prove yourself. I love that him just now. The a year of proving. We shall be proven. You have, you have told me, draw my life for me. My son, I send it to Europe. Even though you have it to do in Africa, Europe! Gather my children for me, Europe. I say, Father, I'm ready. Grant me the strength, give me the grace. You must be ready to join me to gather. You have be gathered. You must be ready to join me in joy to gather the rest. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Four, 48. Therefore, you shall therefore shall thou serve the enemies which the Lord has sent against thee. This is what is hard right now. This is what is hard right now. Because the Christians are not ready to serve God now. The enemies are coming out. Therefore, shall see now many people they are breaking cross from that church now. Say, call them, come and enter. They are not serving their enemies <laughs> because they are not ready to serve the Lord, that humble Father, that lovely Father, that joyful Father who will not force you to do anything. But in 2016, if you refuse to work with Him, you, the other man will send his labor. I mean, his people to you to work with them by force. If you are ready to enjoy 2016, brother. Be ready to go extra mile with Jesus Christ. Be ready to know Him. Verse eleven. I read Hebrews three eleven now. If by enemies I may attain unto the resurrection of the dead, let this be our focus. <laughs> hey, that I my rapture. If peradventure I am dead, that I may attain the resurrection of the dead. Glorious resurrection. Let this be your focus. I want to be pregnant. Let leave them for God. He knows who will be pregnant. He said, "Now this." Uh, he said, Thank you, Lord. He said, "Now, my some of my people will be saying, eh, you will be bled in 2016. You'll be doing this.' He said, "I am not sending them. Tell them what they will do for me." He knows those that will be pregnant. He will make you pregnant. He knows who will be rich. He will make you rich. The paramount now, tell them I am coming now. Tell them I'm coming. Do everything necessary that you might be among the few who shall fly away. The Lord, patience is drawn. The, the light is drawn. I pray you have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. For those of all that say we are all we are already there. We are already holy. We have already attained to that level. We are not teachers. Verse 12. Not as though I have already attained. Either we are already perfect. But I follow after he that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. The reason why Christ made you to see 2016 is for you to walk with him. Ah, Lord, why do you sustain me? Thousands and millions and billions of people died in 2015. Why are you taking me to 16? 
What is the purpose? What is my mission in 2016? Many people say now, the house, I did not finish, I'll finish it. Uh, I will marry, I will do this. That is just your mind. You are not asked the one who is sending you forth. Today we are doing send off. Send forth into 2016 for a purpose. Not for any other thing. You know why? Because the other side of, or the other side of people, they are bucking up. They are pushing harder. They are pushing harder and so close. Because of that, our Lord, our Lord will not tarry longer. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The pushing is so close. So if I come, will I meet faith on earth? So that he will meet faith. He's coming very now. Very now. Even right now, only few faith are there. What about after the, 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 the invading? What will happen? So let us be ready to work with him in joy, in holiness. Verse 13, brethren, I can't not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgotten those things which are behind, I reach forth unto those things which are before. Forget everything that happened in 2015. Be ready to be blessed in 2016. If you are ready to work with him, the Lord is going to bless those who will bless him. Be ready to take away every man of delay. Hey, this was the cause why I did not work with God. This, this was the reason. All those excuses. Let them go now. Go and wear your evangelism shoe. Go and wear your helmet of salvation. Go and wear everything that you need to wear to work with the Lord. You must, you must be an army soldier of the Lord in 2016. If you are ready to go with him, because it's going to be a year of work, work, work. For he said, I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He pressed, and today Apostle Paul is enjoying it now. We must press. No, I am Europe. Uh, people in Europe must look fresh. People in Europe must be glittering. So when they see my picture in Facebook, they'll say, ah, this one is really in Europe. It's a year of fasting and praying. A year of seeking the Lord. A year of staying in the bosom of the Lord. A year of hiding in the Lord. Be ready to hide your children. Don't give your children out to those people. Demons are everywhere. Don't give your husband out to them. Don't give your family out to them. And don't give yourself out to them. Be ready to walk tirelessly. The Lord is ready to strengthen who, those who are ready for him. The strength of God is available. The grace of God is available. But are the children of God available? Are the people of God available? There are many Moses in Africa, but few Moses in Europe. In most Europe, they are not ready for me. They are after what they can get. Even though they know the true word of God, they will try to, to not to say it very strong so that the people will not go away. My son, are you ready to go for me? Daddy, I am ready. And I believe those who you have brought with me are ever ready and i pray for them intensively for the lord to strengthen them i pray for as many that are ready to go for the lord isaiah heard the voice of the lord and he said here i am send me have you heard the voice of the lord what have you told him you are hiding 
you are looking at your husband's eyes to know what to say, or you are even block your ears against him. You are closing the door of heaven against yourself. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a year of pressing. It's a year of the, 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 the high calling. It's a year of higher calling. It's a year of striving. It's a year of tell me who you are. It's a year of where do you belong. Mm -hmm. That is year 2016. Don't listen to all those fake prophets saying, prophesying nonsense to you. Nonsense. Nonsense. Just to make you happy. Some people may say, hey, let's have to come and start prophesying. The prophecy has been done secretly already. It is settled already. Covenant are settled. It is settled. But it's settled for those people who want to settle their life with the Lord. <laughs> Verse 16. Verse 16 says, Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anyone, if, if, if anything, ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. 16. Nevertheless, we are, we are to. Later, we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Year of cooperation. The same rule, what is that rule? Holiness and righteousness. Coordinated holiness. Coordinated righteousness. True holiness and righteousness. That is what the Lord is looking for. Not, not fabrication. Not hypocritical holiness and righteousness. <laughs> I pray the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We must find the same thing. What is that same thing? Heaven. Heavenly race. I know go tired. Heavenly race. I, I am not a yahoo. Heavenly race, I am not go tired. I am still running. Let us mind set in heaven. Matthew 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. If you have hidden your light, go and bring it up now. Those people who hid their light on that chair. Because of their husband, because of some pastors, because of, of some big pastor, they are no, they don't want to do what they ought to do. In 2016, don't serve pastor. In 2016, don't serve apostles. In 2016, don't serve your husband. The Lord will not delight in you. The Lord will not have anything to do with you. The Lord is looking for people who will serve him and serve him alone. Who will leave all their hearts for him. It's eager to work with such people. Your light must shine. Especially those in Europe. Say, let our light shine. The pastors in Europe, they are not doing nothing. I still have some pro, so, 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 I still have some Moses in Africa. But in Europe, I can't see them. I can't see them. Focus your attention on Europe, my boy. Because people will not go to heaven in Europe if care is not taken. I don't have people in Europe to follow me. This the word, cock, cock it, cock it. Put fear in the heart of my children that they might, that they might get ready for me. Are you ready to go with us? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. This is the responsibility. Your responsibility that is that your light must shine. People must glorify God 2016 because of you. 
People must say, hey, the Lord is good because of you. You must tell the Lord, you must tell the people about the Lord in your vicinity, in your environment. Don't be shy. Don't look at faces before you do what you want to do. If that man got here, that I'm doing, the Lord will cut you off. He will cut you off. He said, don't serve men in 2016. Don't serve people in 2016. My patience is running out. Uh, those my children that have made their got over my children. Hmm. It will settle their cause with them. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 70 says, If any man be in Christ, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. 2015 is passing away. Let it pass away. Let it pass away. 2016 is coming. Let everything be new. Renew your covenant with the Lord. Dump the devil. Dump any man that don't want to make heaven. Dump any friends who is not ready to work with you. Dump anyone that is driving you back. There is no time of going back and front, going back forward ever, backward never, upward ever, downward never. If there's any friend who is not ready to move with you, let, it, let drop him or her. Yes, he or she will drag you to hell. God is ready to work with you. Let me go. The Lord will stay with you. <laughs> when it happens, those men cannot stand. The Lord is ready to make his children invisible. If you, if you can say, Lord, here I am, send me. It will make you an extraordinary person. <laughs> it will make you extraordinary. It will, give you, it will give you a spirit life. Celestial body. Don't be afraid. But if you are somebody who is living for men, you may not survive it. It's going to be terrible. And in 2016, we must learn to put other affairs before us. That is our responsibility, especially in mountain of solution and redemption primaries worldwide. The apostles take notice of this. The workers take notice of this. Others must come first. Who are the others? The sinners are there. The sinners are there must be our target. Especially those in Europe. The orphanage must be our target. The widows must be our target. The less privileged must be our target. Let's live the life of Christ in 2016. Libra, freely given. Think of others the way you want all that to think about you. That is a responsibility. Luke 6, 31. And as you would that men should do to you, do so likewise unto them. The Lord is ready to expand our coast. Hmm. Is ready to enlarge our territory, but, but only the territory of those who are ready for him will be enlarged. Only those who are ready to carry the cross of the Lord is ready to enlarge our coast. Things shall be easy for those who are ready for him. It will make life easy for people. There's going to be a distinguishment for those who are serving God in truth and those who are serving him in hypocritical, in hypocrisy. Before you pray, it will answer you. The Lord is ready to unleash his blessing on people to make you an enviable character. He will do it. He will make you an enviable character to other people. It is not the same country I am that these people, these people are. Yes, but the Lord has distinguished us because we have also distinguished ourselves for him. As we are ready to go extra mile for him, is ready to do extra things for us. 
There's going to be abundance of rain for those who are ready to reign with him. Abundance of rain for those who are ready to reign with him. But then it's not just going to be easy. Your flesh has to hear it hard. Your body has to hear it hard for you to be able to reign with him. Where others are eating and eating, you be fasting and fasting. Because the flesh cannot survive what is about, what is about to happen now. The flesh will not survive it. Only those in spirit will survive what is about to happen. Because the other side of it, they are bucking up, working tirelessly. And all the government in Europe, they have succumbed already for them. You go to them, they will not do anything about it. So the only saving grace we have now is Jesus Christ. The only one we have to run to now is Jesus Christ. Be ready to run to him in holiness and righteousness. Because the government will not listen to you. Even your pastor will not listen to you. Because it's going to be hot. But the comfort of the Lord will be our strength. The grace of God shall be our strength. The Lord is ready to fight for us if we are ready to fight with him against other power. Call time, when you get home, read Hebrews chapter 10, 22 to 26. Hebrews chapter 10, 22 to 26. Praise Master Jesus. Let me just quickly read it out. 22-23. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. True heart. Full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our body washed with pure water. For the, for the, for the, for the, for the past these days, Father, have mercy. Purge me, purge me, purge them, purge them, purge them, have mercy. That is a prayer. For this day, the covenant now came. Uh, you are in the covenant with God. No power can break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The covenant of life has been made. The covenant of joy has been made. And those who are ready to work with him. And I know somebody who is listening to me right now is ready to work with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In Numbers chapter 20, 31 verse 48 to 49. This is the covenant of last year. Is this is still working now. The, uh, the officers, which were over thousands of the host, the captain of thousand and captain of hundred, came yet unto Moses. For nine, and they said unto Moses, The servant had taken the song of the men of war, which are under our charge, and there, and there lacked none, no one man of us. No one was lost. Every one of them that went to war. Imagine. It, it, it cannot happen. Except God is there. Everyone that went to war. I mean war. Fierce war. No one was lost. In 2015, no one was lost on this mountain. Numbers 31, 47 to 48. No one was lost. And I mean, 48 to 49. We are not going to lose anyone this year, 2016 also, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Covenant have been made on the, on the, on the means. There are going to be abundant of blessing for those who are ready to bless the Lord. It's going to be abundant of... It's going to be too much. Testimonies is going to be too much. But it's going to be too much for those who are ready to work with him. But for that, it's not going to happen. That I know. That I'm sure. That I'm convinced. That I know the covenant has been made. 
but don't go and kill yourself. Don't go and don't go to where the presence of the Lord will not follow you to. The, the power angels have been released, they will only fall into a place where the prince will go, go. Don't go to where they are doing evil. Don't go to where, where they are saying people should do evil. Always go to the, where the presence of the Lord will follow you to. And you will be guided all through. You will not die. Your husband, your wife, your children will not die. Amen. You'll be alive to enjoy all the blessing in 2016. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the grace to walk joyfully with the Lord have been given to all the apostles and every member of this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The year of joyful work with the Lord. When you get to read Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I don't have more time. Romans 12, verse 1. Romans 14, verse 11. Praise Master Jesus. Second Peter chapter 1, 2 to 11. Second Peter 1, 2 to 11. When you get to read it. Praise Master Jesus. Matthew 11, verse 6. So in 2016, blessed shall be those who will not be offended in Jesus Christ. Matthew 11, verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And I know none of us shall be offended in him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I read Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Joshua 24, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose ye, choose you this day whom you will serve. It's a night of decision. A night of made decision. If you are ready to walk joyfully with the Lord, or go and walk with Jamboree, where they will pet you to perish you. I know on this mountain, no one wants to go to hell. And none of us shall go to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whether the gods which your father served, those days, all the forefathers were here now. They were in the other side of the flood. All the gods of the Amorites, in whom lies you dwell. But as for me, as for me and my household, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord Almighty. I've settled it with him. Father, I am ready to renew the contract. The contract is forever. Year by year, day by day, night by night, minute by minute, let the contract remain. And he said, my son, concentrate on where I send you to. And I know Apostle Abraham, Apostle Peace, Apostle Matthew, the holy women the Lord has given to us, and all the men of this mountain, we all shall conquer Europe for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I to remember a revelation showed to me some few weeks ago, a month ago. A man came to me. I, I was even banding after the after the revelation. I was banding and losing. Say, come. Say, go, go and gather all Europe for me. Gather all Europe for me. I want you to gather all Europe for me. This is what you are said to do. Because the man was black. God have mercy for me. Was a man. I a man. I know. I thought it was the devil. Uh, in that revelation, I call on uh, Sister, Sister Adube. Sister Adube, I see what somebody else told me now. Say, hey, hey, I'm going, man. I'm going to gather. Say, don't just rush and start. Do we even know this man? When I was, it reminded, reminded me. So I said, I can come with us, anybody, to speak to you. Go and gather my people for me. I am coming now. 
I pass the Yes, sir. You walk with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a peace. Sir. You will not be taken away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Apostle Matthew, you are yes, there. Sir. We will, we will form a team that will defeat the power of the devil in the, in the land of Europe in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And all the women on this mountain, all the men in this mountain, brother Austin, the two Austin, brother Dennis, every one of us, we all must get together. Amen. We all work together to pull down the team of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil is We must work harder. Amen. Work harder. Let our knees go on the ground. Let our flesh die for the spirit to live. We shall conquer. We shall overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And all the husbands on this mountain will join their wives to fight this battle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every husband that proves stubborn in 2015, they will be easy. They will even be the one to say, My wife, let us go to oh. fight by the 2016 in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Or those are women are just saying, I want my husband to join me. They are enjoying the, the business they are doing. They are doing what the, 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 the thing they are doing. They are saying, my husband, love my husband, join me. Because, uh, the, because food is full with nonsense. This year, you will not, next to that you will not eat junks. You will not eat evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the last Bible verse says in Matthew 28, verse 16. So then the 11 put here very well now. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. They went into where Christ had appointed them. You must ask, Lord, where have you appointed me? In that your area, walk diligently there. This ministry must conquer in 2016. The whole world must hear the truth, the undiluted truth. It is confirmed, it is tested. And Lord is one of his own to come in the morning. They are not coming for long. For long. And be to say something and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for confirmation. For a long time. To God, thank you. The Lord shall confirm you for his work in 2016 in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the blessing you need. Watch and see. You will not pray for blessing before you come. You will not stress yourself over material things. What people of the world are running after, they will run after you. The blessing that people are running after. The blessing that is not making people to serve the Lord. They will run after you. They will come easy. Easy. Because you are serving God. Because you have left all for the Lord. The Lord shall leave all for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please, I'm begging you. Amen. Make up your mind to do everything for the Lord. The Father I'm ready to die for you. I'm ready to lose my life for you. Because I know I will gain it if I lose it for you. Europe, Europe must come for, come for the Lord. The power of darkness, the forces of the Ishmael, the demon that, that control them will not take over the land of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Rather, rather, there will be there will be great awakening in the Muslim world. They shall receive Christ. They shall come to Jesus. All the churches already they have they have taken over. The Lord shall take over them again from them, and they deserve in that place we serve the Lord. It is possible if you and I are ready to go extra my prayer. 
He will do it. Amen. He will do it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. New Year, new responsibility. New Year, new what? New responsibility. Be ready to handle the responsibility with all your heart. And you will be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Maybe we'll come back again next time. I will talk more. The Lord bless us. Increase us. Don't be afraid. The Lord is with us. The strong and mighty man in battle. He will defend us. I will make my children invisible. I will make them celestial bodies. He will do it. Don't be afraid. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. If you know you are there, you are not born again. You can't do this. It's meant for those who are born again. Say after me, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, which will be very, very good for you. The Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've decided to hand over all my life to you. Come into my life today. Come and dwell in me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me, clean and purge me, purify me. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving my soul. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray, Lord, as many that have received you tonight, and as many that will hear this word that receive you, oh God, grant the greatest strength to follow you, to abide in you, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will serve you joyfully to the end of time, and at the end, they will make it to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray tonight, oh God, Anyway, oh God, I've surprised from your word. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Anyway, I've added, oh God, please have mercy. Anyway, I've exaggerated, Papa, have mercy. Father, anyway, oh God, I've not, I've not done it. Maybe I will have of any face or anything. Father, have mercy upon me. And let your will be done in our lives in 2016. This word will not be used against the hearers, not against the doer. The grace, oh God, to do this word. Give it to us, oh Lord. And at the end, we all this month shall be raptured on that day. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I've prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What are you, Apostle Ben? God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah.